folks, David Creative Craft House to show you our day of the week calculator based on the doomsday algorithm uh, devised by John Conway, the, uh, the UK mathematician back in 1973. Anytime I find some mathematical concept or that can be converted to a physical object, I just can't help but make it. Uh, you, Napier's Bones, Ford Fearless, um, Janai Lucas Rods are other examples, and there are, there are others. It's just kind of fun. Uh, and this is kind of a fun item, too. Uh, what it will do is it will calculate the day of the week um, for any date, uh, specifically the, the 20th and 21st uh, centuries. Um, and it works quite easily. Uh, you, you, you pick a date, and let's, let's pick like November 8, uh, 51. A wonderful day in history. Uh, so if I align the uh, November with the years which are on the outer wheel, the months here are on this inner wheel, uh, November of 1951, and uh, see that, November 51, and then I come to the date, uh, the eighth day, eighth day, and I see that it was on a Thursday. Um, and that's really all you're going to do. The numbers in parentheses represent leap years, like you see the 84 here. And on leap years, if the date you're looking for is in either January or February, you will use the January in parentheses as opposed to the January not in parentheses. So that's one thing to be aware of. Now the next thing to be aware of is that you will read the days directly for the 20th century, that is years in the 1900s. But because in the 21st century is a different anchor date, and I'll explain that uh, shortly, you will need to uh, back off one day. Now the rules here, I've tried to make it self-contained, and the, the instructions uh, for how to work it are all contained on the back, so you haven't got to worry about losing a piece of paper. This will be good for a lifetime. And it does explain that in the years 20 to 29, let's say you're trying to calculate the day for December 7th, 2041. The wheel will indicate that it is, um, it is Sunday. So you back off one day. And the reason for that is the anchor date for the 21st century is on a uh, t Tuesday, and for the, for the 20th century it's on a Wednesday. Now, what is this stuff about uh, anchor century? Well, a doomsday is not a doomsday in the sense that we think of you know, big catastrophes coming. A doomsday in this context uh, is it's interesting that certain days of every year will fall on the same day. And these are called doomsdays. For example, uh, in non leap years, January 3rd, last day of February, February 28th, as well as 4, 4, 6, 6, 8, 8, 10, 10, 12, 12, which are easy to remember, and also 5, 9, 7, 11, 9 to 5, and 11 to 7, which are also pretty easy to remember, uh, because there's a, there's a phrase, I work 5 to 9 at the 7, 11, and look, it's the reverse, 9, 5, and 11, 7 also. So these dates, on a regular year, uh, you alternate leap year, one four, the last day of February should be the 29th, and, and one four on the leap year. Always fall on the same day. So if, if in any given year, one three is a, January 3rd is a Tuesday, then all these days will be Tuesday also. Knowing this, uh, you see, you can actually in your head uh, determine the day of the week for any given day by knowing this information and also the, the, uh, the doomsday for the particular year and the which is based on the century anchor date. There's a mathematical uh, process which the average person can do and a really bright person can do in seconds. And if you want to learn more about that, I won't go through it here, but there's some wonderful YouTube videos uh, and also even Wikipedia uh, that will do a search on uh, day of the week doomsday calculator and you'll find all kinds of wonderful information. So you can do it in your head, or you can use this wheel. <laughs> the wheel I, I found uh, in Jerry Slocum's museum catalog. Uh, it was a paper version. Uh, it was attributed to uh, John uh, Fauci. Uh, I don't believe it's ever been made in any kind of uh, fashion like this, uh, but it is based on uh, John Conway's work. 
uh, John Conway is a, a famous mathematician in the recreational math area and others, and I believe he's still alive, he'd be in his 80s, and I thank him for his fine work, and also John Foshi for the, uh, the paper version that he made based on that work. This is made right here in our Hudson, Florida shop. This is uh, maple and uh, older top. It's very nice quality. Uh, as I said, it should last a lifetime. Hope you have some fun with it. Dave at Creative Craft House.